Signs your breakup is temporary. Signs that this man at some point he will find his way back. He will come into his senses or she will come into her senses and she will actually come back home. Remember the story of the prodigal son? The Bible says in the book of Luke 15 verse 17, when he finally came to his senses, he said to himself, at home, even the hired men have food enough to spare. And here I am dying of hunger. I will go to my father and say, father, I have sinned against both heaven and you. So sometimes these breakups are temporal. Remember the breakup with Joseph, Joseph and Mary. It was a very short one. In fact, he wanted to actually let her go. But at some point, he came back to his senses and got back the lady. So some of you are in a state where you're in a breakup, but it's actually temporal. So let me give you some signs to show you that your partner is actually coming back. Number one. They keep checking your social media. This person is always on your WhatsApp status. Whatever you post, right there. You go on TikTok, it's always liking, which means they are, they are still touching base with you. They want to know what you're doing, what you're up to, and all that. Philippians 2 verse 4. Let each of you not look only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Number two, he keeps inquiring about you from the friends. You'll hear your friends talking about you, you know, saying, hey, your, your ex was asking what you're doing nowadays. Your ex was asking what you're up to, you know. That means he still has an interest to know about you. Ruth 2 verse 11, yes, I know, Boaz replied. But I also know about the love and kindness you have shown your mother-in-law. Since the death of your husband, I have heard how you left your father and mother and your own land to live here among complete strangers. Number three, he still maintains a relationship with your family. You notice that he's still in very good terms with your mom and dad, still talking to your sister and your brothers, which means he doesn't want to lose this family because he knows at some point I'm coming back. Now, Psalms uh, 133 verse 1. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. Number four, you notice that there are some things he's adjusted. It's like he's changed his ways. This guy used to drink, but from what you're hearing, it's like he stopped drinking and he's actually going to church. He's spending more time with quality people. Now, Lamentations 3 verse 40, let us examine and probe our ways and let us return to the Lord. Number five, he doesn't trash talk you in public. He never says bad things about you because he's a smart person. He knows that you never go peeing in your kitchen. You will still need to go back to the same kitchen and actually eat that food. So he's a bit careful when it comes to what he says about you in public. Now, James 4 verse 11. Speak not evil of one another. He that speaketh evil of his brother and judges his brother speaketh evil of the law and judges the law. Number six, you notice he misses the good old days. Sometimes he'll send you a picture showing the two of you what you are doing. It's like he wants those days to come back. And, and sometimes when if he made a mistake, if you can forgive him, if you want to bring him back, bring him back. It's still fine. Number seven, he still does favors for you. You know, this guy still remembers the special days. He doesn't forget your birthdays, still send you gifts. In case you call him and you want something done, he's very quick. You know, he still wants to do favors for you. And if you need some finances, you can still ask him and he'll still provide. Because this one is uh, still interested. Number eight, still supports the children. It doesn't matter whether it's the husband who has the children or it's a wife who has the children. But you notice they still want to support the children. The Bible says in the book of 1 Timothy 5 verse 8, if anyone does not provide for his relatives and especially for his immediate family, he has denied the faith and is worse than unbeliever. Number nine, you notice he's become more spiritual and he's actually going for counseling classes. This is someone that is keen on improving himself. And you know, there's nothing so nice when you give someone a break they go work on themselves, then come back and present themselves as a better person. Matthew 
1 verse 19 Joseph Hafianci being a just man decided to break the engagement quietly so as not to disgrace her as he considered this he fell asleep and an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream Joseph son of David the angel said do not be afraid to go ahead with your marriage to Mary for the child within her has been conceived by the Holy Spirit number 10 you notice he's not as happier as he was in your relationship it seems like his life has become more terrible it doesn't seem like he's making progress it doesn't seem like things are doing well this man at some point will come to his senses and he'll come back to you he knows that he was destined for you he was ordained to be with you but now he's struggling like the prodigal son and he needs to come to his senses and come back first peter 2 verse 25 for you were continually straying like sheep but now you have returned to the shepherd and the guardian of your souls hosea 6 verse 1 come let us return to the lord for he has torn us and he will heal us he has wounded us and he will bandage us i'm praying for anyone that is out there that is struggling on what to do moving forward that is not sure whether they should be going back or not i'm praying for you that you may start thinking on the right way and may the spirit of the lord confirm to you what you're supposed to do